All right, let's get a check of weather again with Drew. So the big story today, it's cold. What's the wind doing today? It was really windy on Sunday. Yeah, yesterday was really breezy. It is still breezy today, okay. but it's not nearly as bad as uh, what we were experiencing yesterday. That made temperatures feel way colder. 35 degrees right now in Dayton on our Stoller Family Estate camera. You can see winds there are about nine miles per hour. Here's a look in Vancouver on our Mary Hill Winery Tasting Room and Bistro camera. 34 degrees, but winds are only five miles an hour. So there are areas where the winds much lighter and wind chill not much of a factor. Portland is one of those areas right now. We're 35 degrees here in Portland and down towards Salem. Along the coast, some spots have already gotten into the 40s, 41 degrees in Tillamook and Florence, Newport and Astoria right there. East of the Cascades, really chilly temperatures still, especially when you look at Burns, Baker City, John Day Grand, into the teens or single digits there in Burns. Central Oregon, mostly in the 20s, but Madras still at 19 degrees right now. So really chilly. Here's a look at those winds. So there are spots of the metro that are going to be seeing wind gusts uh, this afternoon around the 25 mile per hour mark or so. But then take a look at tonight. Those winds are mostly dying down unless you're on the east side of the metro out near the gorge then the winds are still fairly breezy. And then for the next couple of days, we really don't see the winds much of a factor at all. It looks like that east wind starts to pick up just a little bit once again, mainly if you're out near the gorge overnight into really early Thursday morning. So the wind chill today uh, could be a little bit of a factor as we go into this evening, depending on where you are and you're still getting a bit of that east wind. Temperatures likely still going to feel like they're in the 20s. But then as we go through uh, the next couple of days, the wind chill doesn't really look like it will be much of an impact at all. Temperatures are also going to be warming up a little bit. So we've got some clouds moving in later tonight. Expect maybe some more partly cloudy skies into this evening, tomorrow morning, starting with more clouds as well. But we'll still get some sunshine into the afternoon. And then it looks like we'll have the clouds with us as we head into Wednesday morning and clearing out to some more sunshine for the afternoon on Wednesday there too. We did not receive any rain here the past couple of days. Since Saturday was the last time we had that measurable rain. And this is going to be our total for the month of January 3.34 inches uh, definitely a little bit below average uh, we're not going to be wet for these past couple days today and tomorrow but going into the beginning of February it looks like Friday is when we start to see the return of the showers maybe about a quarter of an inch or so of rain on Friday and then into Saturday night Sunday I think we'll see a few more showers bringing us a little more rainfall but Again, a dry end to January here, but January ending very cold. Tomorrow morning, expect another chilly one. We're going to be into the upper 20s, not quite as bad as we were today, but that's still really cold. 28 degrees, 42 for the high tomorrow, and then we're gradually seeing those temperatures warming fairly slowly towards the end of the week. 48 degrees on Friday with uh, rain to showers likely. Saturday, again, I think we're mainly dry through the day. It's once we uh, get late into the evening, almost overnight into Sunday that we see the return of some showers. But Saturday, we're about average as far as temperatures go, 50 degrees, and those overnight lows slowly warming back up into the upper 30s and low 40s by the end of the weekend. Mia.